What's going on guys? It's Jay from Dirty Boy Tools here to bring you a toolkit that I put together last night. Uh, it's based on a toolkit I've been using but uh, it's a little different. Uh, this is a, a small tool pouch by Mellotuff. This is a five pocket pouch. I've actually been using the six pocket pouch the past uh, week or two but the five pocket pouch seems like it has a little bit more room believe it or not uh, for what I need. Uh, so this is basically what I'll have on me at work, carry it around. If things are going well, I won't use it and I won't forget it by leaving it somewhere because it'll be attached and clipped to my belt. And uh, if things do go wrong, um, I have this to pull out and use and help me on different jobs. Um, as you can see, a little bit of wiggle room with the pry bar if I move it upside down. But, you know, they're pretty secure in there. Now if I start taking tools out and things shift around, things are probably going to fall out. But at least for the time being, while I can walk around and check things out, I can feel somewhat secure and knowing that these tools aren't going to come out until I pull them out. Uh, so let me get into it. This is my Knipex 150mm, also known as 6 inch pliers wrench. Uh, goes up to, uh, what is that? A little more than an inch. Um, oh wait, I have a scale right here. Yeah, a little more, about an inch or so. A little more than that. Um, can good good for plumbing fittings. Good for small bolts. Good good for uh, pneumatic fittings, shark bites, uh, sensor bolts. And, you know, a lot of uses from this tool. Very good quality pliers. I mean, everybody knows Kniebex makes very good quality tools. Uh, this is my. Euler pen, I forget the brand that this is. Uh, I have another video with it. Very good oiling pen. Just hit the dropper, oil comes out. I can oil up cylinders, airlines, gear, things like that. It works very well. And uh, now I always have oil on me. I don't have to carry around those big, oily, dirty bottles. Uh, Milwaukee ink saw, you know, just your basic Sharpie functions. It's good to mark up things before you take things apart. Uh, this is a cheapy screwdriver, flathead here, Phillips head here. Uh, this is meant more for all type uses, poking reset buttons, and for, you know, small pry things. I also, of course, have my PB Swiss 6-in-1 um, precision driver. Uh, the blades just come out in the back. Put them on this way. Uh, it's magnetically attached. Uh, very good driver, very good blades. Um, not a great magnet because the magnet attaches straight up to the bit, uh, which is not ideal because uh, they do come out once in a while. But overall, just because PB Swiss offers a good amount of flathead blade sizes, that's why I keep this on me. Uh, Klein electrician scissors, just pick these up. I have other scissors, but I don't have any ones that's portable. So this will serve as my one and only cutting tool in this kit. Um, hopefully it'll do the job. I've uh, got my Lyle 5 inch pry bar. It's a demolition pry bar so it has a striking cap. Uh, I love this thing so far. I've only had it for a couple weeks. Uh, it is great. It, You know what, it's, it's an excellent EDC pry bar. I highly recommend it. I guess it's bulkier than your typical EDC pry bar but you can beat this thing up and it's going to last. It's no problems with it. Uh, a Baco wrench. Ooh. I wasn't joking when I said these tools are in there tight. Hold on. All right, there we go. I gotta break this kit in a little more. Uh, so Baco six-inch wrench. Uh, good wrench. Like it so far. Nice uh, stubby handles. Obviously, when things go out too far, there's a lot more wiggle room. It grabs on very well um, at this point. Um, I'd have to use it for a couple years to really give you a good judgment on it, but it has inches, it's got metric. Uh, the head is not too big, so it fits very well. Um, I prefer a wrench option in some situations, so I know it's a little redundant to have both on hand, but I just, I need my wrench. It's, they're, just, they're just so useful. This is a Vim ratchet. Uh, this is... A uh, bicycle style ratchet. Uh, you'll see a lot of these nowadays made by Topeak, made by Presser Cycle. I have a shorter one made by Presser Cycle. It also comes with a socket converter 
bit. Uh, if I don't have that in this kit, I just don't have a need for that. And also, I can't fit sockets in here. But, you know, pass through. Uh, it's got one here, so I can extend this way. Um, ratcheting both ways. Um, and, of course, when I do the pass through, I get a nice T-handle out of it. Very useful. Very useful so far. Um, I'm very impressed with this, this ratchet. I don't always treat it right, meaning sometimes I, I torque out bolts that I need a much bigger ratchet to do, but it works just fine. It hasn't broken on me yet, um, so I'm really happy with this one. It's by Vim. Um, of course, the only bits I have are hex bits. Um, I carry um, some bits on me in a driver, and I'm also thinking about carrying maybe something like this um, in my pocket. It is a little bulky, but it's rubber, so it's comfortable. I, I'm still trying to figure out how to carry other bits on me, but really all I need is maybe uh, Phillips number one and two, and same thing with the flathead, just two flatheads, um, and that should be fine. But I got metric and standard hex bolts. Uh, you know, I depend on these. They work very well. Obviously, an Allen wrench is better to have on me, but again, this is, you know, a very portable kit. Last thing I have on me, certainly not the least item, is my Kinepex 200 uh, millimeter twin grip pliers they have the screw removal function I've talked about screw removal functions before very useful in most situations um, obviously there are some situations where you're better off having you know a, a needle nose tip or a flat tip so you can grab better from here but when you're trying to grab bolts and screws this serves very well um, this actually takes the place of my Knipex Cobras, uh, as you can see, they you know similar build head. It won't go as wide as the Cobras do, but this is probably the fanciest pair of slip joints on the market uh, because it's really not a, I guess not a slip joint. It's a it's still button uh, managed, and you can go to five different um, settings. Um, that's great. Uh, I think it's you know useful for a lot of people. For me, I would prefer it if I can just, you know, slip to a bigger size, slip to a smaller size. But, uh, you know, I, I really can't complain. These are great pliers. These are well made. Um, highly reviewed. I've never seen a bad review on this plier. Um, and it's not something I've had in my everyday carry kit. I've actually been hoping that they make a 150 or 175 millimeter one, just something more compact. But I decided, hey, let me make this a part of my everyday carry. Um, it'll probably do me some good. And so far, it's been helping. Um, nothing spectacular yet, but only time will tell. Um, so that's pretty much what I have uh, in my everyday carry kits. All these tools in here fitting into this it's a nice little pocket sized kit. It's, let's see here. Nine inches uh, tall. Um, three inches long of course you can crush this in there and in terms of width I'm getting about the same three inches um, this loop is obviously intended for hammer carrying or bigger tool carrying I don't use it that way um, but who knows what the future holds maybe I'll switch some of these things out start carrying a big set of 10 inch pliers in here or tw a 12 inch wrench in here and then I'll have all the smaller tools to help me out with other parts of the job. Uh, so let me guys know what you think about this kit. Uh, this is what I'm going to be using this week. Um, I also used a, another kit, um, which was working out well. There's basically a lot of these tools with the Maxpedition. I'll go over that in another video. Uh, but because the Maxpedition doesn't clip onto my pocket, I decided to go with this. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, if you have any suggestions. Uh, based on the tools that you've seen, how it can improve, or different brands, anything like that.